Recently, I came out to do a simple idler pulley replacement on my wife's RX350 and found a problem with the wheel I could not get off because the tool for the locking lug nut is missing. These locking lug nuts are easily defeated and so I'm just going to replace them with regular lug nuts. Please click like and subscribe and if you want to see more of my videos right when they come out, ding the little bell. As always, I'm just showing you how I fix things. I'm not telling you to go do this yourself. If you choose to do so, you're doing so at your own risk. Here's the lock nut that I'm looking to remove. Okay, so to remove this, you want to find a socket that's just a little bit smaller than the diameter of your nut. And I'm giving you this information in case you've got another brand, you may be able to modify um, what I'm giving you here to work for you with another size socket. So I brought my little caliper set out to measure it. And I get 20.4 millimeters. So I went to Home Depot and got the cheapest 19 millimeter socket I could find, which is this Husky 12 point. You need to have 12 point half inch drive. I wanted half inch drive so that I can get a punch through this hole and knock the lug nut back out and then I can reuse this on the other wheels. Now, last night I went around to each wheel and on this particular lug nut only I sprayed some uh, penetrating oil. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. So the tools you're going to need are going to be a socket, a 12 point socket, that's just a little bit smaller than the diameter of your lock nut. A breaker bar that fits your socket. And you'll also need a hammer to drive the socket onto the nut. And then at the end, I'll use a torque wrench to torque the new nut that I got at a local auto parts store down to the proper torque. Once you have all your tools ready, get your socket and put it over the lock nut that you want to remove and use the hammer to drive the socket onto the lock nut. Be careful not to miss because you don't want to mess up your rims. Once you've sufficiently hammered the socket onto the lock nut, take your breaker bar and slowly pull on it until you can break it loose. Give it a few spins and now your lug nut is off. Take your new lug nut you may want to use a new lock set if you live in a high crime area. That's up to you. For me, these are just OEM wheels. I'll take my chances. I'd rather be able to get my wheel off in an emergency. Now Lexus, I believe the spec for these nuts are 76 foot-pounds, which is about what I use on my Volvo. It's uh, My Volvo uses 110 Newton meters, which is 80 foot-pounds, which uh, that's what I just set my torque wrench to, so I'll torque this down to 80 foot-pounds. It's close enough. Here we go. That's all there is to it. The only thing that remains to be done is take this um, lug nut out. I'll take this large punch and go to my workbench and use this hammer again to knock this lock nut out of the socket. Then I can take it to the other wheels and remove the lock nuts there as well. Uh, if you go to Home Depot or wherever you go and buy this socket and there's four of them on the hook, just go ahead and buy four and throw them away with the sockets. It's really kind of a pain in the butt to get the uh, nuts back out of the socket. I got all four lug nuts off. My last step in this whole process is throw these in my recycle bin. Thanks for tuning in. Please don't forget, hit like and subscribe. 
ring the bell in the corner if you want to see more of my videos. And I hope this helped you get past your problem with the lug nut.